Hi, I'm not a farm girl. Today I'm going to show you how we are putting our foundations into our Langstroth Hive frames. Let's start by talking about the supplies that you'll need. You will need your frame and wax foundation or plastic foundation. We're using a wax foundation, a brad gun, a small hammer, wire nails, fishing line, bobby pins, a putty knife, and a utility knife. The frames hang in the beehive like this, and you can see right here, there's already a line cut where um, this little piece is intended, it can snap out. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my utility knife, and I'm going to cut down, and you can see that that piece just pops right out. Now I'm going to take the wax foundation, Something interesting that we learned about wax foundations in class, and probably the true of the plastic, when bees make a honeycomb in the wild, they don't line the cells up back to back like this, where you can see right through them. They line the cells up offset of each other. And so that's the way the foundations are made. This part is about probably what I would say is the trickiest part of the job. I'm going to lay the foundation in where I took this piece of wood out. And the, because this is a wax foundation, it's rather malleable, I'm going to then manipulate the top of the, well, what will actually be the bottom of the wax, but the way I'm holding it is the top. I'm going to pry apart the two top pieces of wood on the bottom of the frame. I said top again because I'm holding it this way. And slide the wax into this slot that's already been cut in these pieces of wood. And I found it pretty easy that if I get one end in, then I work that and I just work my way backwards till I have both ends in the frame. Then I turn the frame back over and I've got the wax setting on that little ledge left where this piece of wood was removed. So that's how it's in. Now to keep it in place, I'm going to use bobby pins and we have pre-drilled holes at each end of these frames. Slide the bobby pin through the hole and then it just slides on each little leg of the bobby pin on one side of the wax and I'm going to push it until it's flush with this piece of wood. I'm going to do that in four holes, the two middle holes on either side of the frame. This helps hold the wax foundation in place so that it won't fall out of the frame as we're manipulating it and we're adding the wire and the other items to make it strong. Now the next thing I need to do is replace this slat of wood here. And the way I'm going to do that, this is where our brad gun comes in.
After your wax is in and the brads have been nailed in, the next step is to add the fishing line. And at this time, I'm gonna turn it over to Carter and she's gonna show you how to do that part. All right, so now we are going to put our fishing wire in. So first you need to take your nails. These are three quarter inch nails. And we're gonna take one first. This is so we can wrap our fishing line around this when we put it through for the frame. There we go, there's one. You wanna leave it up a little bit so that you can tie your fishing wire around it before you hammer it all the way down. All right. Next, we'll need our fishing line. So first, we're going to string it through in an X pattern. Oops, I dropped it. All right, so the natural curve of the fishing line, you want it up and it makes it easier to grab once it's through the hole. So down to the bottom hole. Then you're going to come up and around to the top hole and back across to the bottom. Once to the bottom, pull out a couple of inches so you have some room to work with. First you're going to wrap it around three to four times. Then you want to make a loop around your finger so that you can slide it over the nail. So let me do that again. You make a loop around your finger and slide it over the nail. That allows it to stay firm more or stay put more. <laughs> then you want to hold your end tight while you hammer down the nail. Once you hammer down the nail, you want to cut away the extra. Then we're going to come up back to this corner and put it around this down. So you want to pull it tight and wrap it one, two, three, four times around the nail. Whoops, there we go. And once you have that, then you want to take your loop around your finger and put it over once and over twice. There we go. Now we're going to continue holding that tight and put it in. And once that's done, you simply snip, snip the line and repeat on the other side. This is Not A Farm Girl's channel. Remember to subscribe, like, big thumbs up there, and comment. Thanks for watching. Which way is it on? The, the circle line. is off. The circle is off. Okay. So it was already on. Okay, I'm unplugged. Oh. There we go. Where it oh, I can we can talk about that later. Where does the brag come out? Yeah. The side with the little black thin nail. Don't oh. be pointing it at your it's, face. It's not. It's turned off. I turned it off. And I'm not pulling the trigger. Okay.